Government moves to improve the practice of conveyancing. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Monday, September 17th, 2018, I am Rakesha St. Louis. Government moves to reduce the search period for land deeds and titles under the Conveyancing and Law of Property Amendment Act 2018. Amendment to the Principal Act means that the period of search needed in order to determine good route of title to land will be 30 years instead of the common law period of 60 years. Minister for Youth Development, Sports, Culture and the Arts, Senator the Honorable Norland Cox, says as it stands now, the deeds and law registry is chaotic. During a meeting of the Upper House on Friday, he said with the amendment, government will be rectifying the issues of lengthy and inconclusive searches for title deeds and several complaints from landowners. Grenada will join several Caribbean islands who have similar experiences and who have reduced the search period. We are seeking to make this amendment to go back to 30 years. The reason for that, Mr. President, why are we seeking this amendment? Due to a number of unfortunate incidents, uh, like for example, during Hurricane Ivan, some of the records have gotten damage from water damage at the registry. And as such, that will render some gaps within the, the period in which you have to search. So in some cases, when you go back 40 years, there is nothing there, there is a gap. So you might get something 50 years, you might get something 30, some you might get 40, some you might get, so there are gaps in between. So you cannot really complete your search properly. Senator Cox recommended the adoption of technology at the registry, adding that a computerized system will provide further checks and balances for the process. We recognize the most ideal thing for us is to have a computerized system. Uh, this would require significant investment on our part. This will require extensive work in terms of doing topographic maps and, and having all this registry built. But we believe that what we're seeking to do today, this amendment, is a, a step in the right direction to remedy the situation currently. But definitely, we will we definitely have to move towards what you call a registered system where no searches would not have to be done. It would be much more easier because everything is up to date. The amendment was supported by Senator the Honorable Winston Galloway. 30 years is pretty safe. We have information that will guarantee in, in quote-unquote terms that you can establish title. But I look forward to us moving the bar and very sharply. There are other means around that you can establish title without using this 30 years. We talk about a registration system, but we need to get there. Senator Cox highlighted that persons who acquired lands and titles under the Possessory Title Act of 2015 will not be affected by the amendment made under the Conveyancing and Law of Property Amendment Act 2018. Officials from the Caribbean Court of Justice, including former President Sir Dennis Byron, will address the first public meeting of the CCJ Advisory Committee at the Deluxe Cinema in Grenville on Tuesday. The meeting will be held to create greater awareness on plans by Grenada to accede to the CCJ as this country's final appellate court. Prior to the meeting at the Deluxe Cinema, which starts at 6 p.m., Sir Dennis will meet with students of the T.A. Marisha Community College at 10.30 to discuss the benefits of being a member of the regional court. In preparation of the referendum, persons throughout Grenada believes that this is the opportune time for Grenada to transition from the Privy Council. Yeah, I mean, it's about time. It's long overdue. We should um, be there because, you know, get get out of the British thing. And so we are all one Caribbean. And I think that will be binding us more together because we have CARICOM. So we should have all of that in one, you know, with it thing. Because they are good lawyers too, you know, and good judges. West Indian people, they are, we are capable of handling our own. They are going to say do it. Vote for CCJ. I don't know for someone because everybody has for them one opinion. My opinion, I say, go to. For me, I say, go to. I think it's a very good thing. 
you know, because we could be home here, right in Grenada herself, and we could see everything what going on. We could know everything what going on. We could just use the phone, and then we could tell when the case go appeal. Instead, we, you know, we day in jail, suffering. I never been in jail. I don't want to be in jail, but I find now this is a very good thing. If we could get it like that, we could really appreciate that. This is the National Report. More news after the break. The house was shaking, shaking. Then said the story here, babe. Crack, 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 crack. And the roof had gone. Man, I was so scared, I nearly wet myself. Only those who have lived it can truly understand the devastating fury of a hurricane's wind. The house across the road just get up and roll over. Hurricane force wind. It's a hazard. Hazards. Take control. Reduce your loss. You can hurricane proof your home. For example, Make your roof more wind resistant by using screws instead of nails in its construction. Find out more about hurricane force winds and other hazards at your local disaster office. A message from the National Disaster Management Agency and Sidera. Welcome back. The government of Grenada has recognized the exploits of CAC World Heavy and Super Heavyweight Champion Damian Daniel, who has been flying the Grenada flag in the field of bodybuilding. An award ceremony was held on Friday at the Ministerial Complex, organized by the Ministry of Youth Development, Sports, Culture and the Arts, partnering with the Ministry of National Security and Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell. Damian started out as an amateur and is now a qualified professional bodybuilder, capturing more than 10 gold medals from various competitions. The bodybuilding champion, who is originally from the parish of St. David, has contributed to the exposure of Grenada in the diaspora as he excels in the sport internationally. He says his achievement is a testimony of hard work, discipline and dedication, not just in the sports, but in life generally. Being here it's really started from something which was a tragic, which was really like a negative way into a positive. Me losing my mom, this was a way for me to, to just really come out of the out negative into the positive, where I just started to like lift stones and batteries as a way to just stay on the positive really side. You know, and I just want to say to young persons out there, at times you really feel like giving up. There are a lot of avenues where bodybuilding definitely could just shape you and take you from the negative way, bring you into the positive. It is not an easy journey to just like go out to represent Grenada, but when you really have the backing of the people, your family, your friends, it definitely is always a pleasure just going out there and represent Grenada. So I just want to say to all my friends, family, thank you for all the support from all over the years for being on board, when I really fell down, you never really gave up on me. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell praised the bodybuilder for his humility and commitment to the sport. You will see this young man around and you will not know who he is. He never shows himself. He accepts victory and you would not know that he's somebody that's performed that well. It's very simple and humble. He had a lot of trials and tribulations in going, meeting his goals. And he never complains. It's, sometimes I have to ask him, how are you making it? And then he would tell me, well, the problems he's having. You know, knowing the successes that he's had, I genuinely believe we did not treat him the way we should. Minister of Sports, Senator Norland Cox, promised that government is doing its best to secure the necessary support for sportsmen here in Grenada. We are going to do everything that we can. We are going to do our best to see how we can support the athletes. We, we have some unique situations uh, that is just coming to us, and we don't know how we're going to address it as yet. But the most important thing, we are committed to see how we can solve it. So we want to, to say that. I want to wish Damien and the uh, Federation all the best going forward. I know that you have a tournament coming up soon in November in Spain. Um, we wish you all the best on that, and we are going to do everything we can to, to support you in that regard. That story just brought the curtains down on the National Report for today. Let's recap the top story. Government moves to improve the practice of conveyancing. On behalf of everyone who made this newscast possible, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time.